Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Heaven or hell? Axel versus Saul. Duel one. Let's rock. I just want to take this moment to say something. This game is sick. Or at least the parts of the game where you're actually playing the game is sick. Hey everybody, this is Carnivore Plays Guilty Gear Shrive. This video is... Holy shit. <laughs> like a year late. But uh, I find this game fantastic. These are some of my very early um, fights that I had playing this game. I, I, so, I love fighting games. They are amazing, right? And I want to show that on this channel. But I... I'm not good at them. <laughs> like, like, I love the characters, I love playing fighting games online, but I'm not good and I don't think I'm ever going to be because it, it takes a tremendous amount of practice and game knowledge and um, timing and just a lot of work goes into being really good at fighting games and I... I don't have the time to get super competitive good and also I want to experience other things <laughs> um, maybe that's just an excuse because I'm sure there are people who are good at fighting games that do lots of other stuff but for me I don't know it's just it's one of the more difficult things to to get really good I can't combo uh, for my life as you can see here oh <laughs> I get smacked in the face uh, but I do really enjoy these games. I think they're all awesome. I have tons of them. I play them. Uh, not so much competitive. Oh, I got the grab! Boom! <laughs> um, so I do want to, like, show them and talk about them. Uh, but I'm not really sure, like, what the format should be. Like, should I comment on the, on the, the matches? Or should I, like, just talk about stuff that's unrelated and let them play out or should it be a mix of both I don't know I guess we'll find out as this goes on uh, but Guilty Gear Strive is an amazing game uh, the best looking fighting game out on the market right now um, I love the Guilty Gear series I've liked it since Guilty Gear X on the PlayStation I think and then um, XX and and Accent Core, Account Core, or whatever the hell, Guilty Gear XX AC, and all the. I like Guilty Gear. I like the characters. I like the designs of the characters. I like the rock and roll. Uh, the music in all these games is fantastic. Um, yeah, I've been a big fan of the series since PlayStation, and uh, this game is so much fun to play, even though it's a very dumbed down version of Guilty Gear. Like, they took a few mechanics, core mechanics, and they kept them. And then they did away with a lot of other stuff that uh, used to be in the Guilty Gear series up to even the last game. Uh, but uh, it kept, like, the visual style is a lot better. The gameplay is very solid. And a lot of the, like, when you hit your, when you hit the other person, it feels awesome. It feels like it has a lot of weight. Look at that. Like, it, it, it it feels good. Feels good to do good in this game. So it's a it's a great game, uh, and it's fun to play even for somebody who, like me, doesn't really know how to. Um, so my my biggest problem with fighting games is I I don't know how to capitalize on like the hits that I do get. I think my like spacing is is pretty decent. Like I know where I should be to get hits, but like I don't. Once I get them, I don't know what to do with them. Like, I'm bad at, like, confirming that I've made a hit, I guess. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of flaws when I play fighting games, is what I'm trying to say. I think the, the one I'm probably the best at is maybe Tekken. Um, 
And even in Tekken, like, I don't even have the basic movement down, which is, like, the most important part of Tekken. Like, I just can't do those wave dashes. I can't do the back dashes. Uh, I've had sessions where I sit down for, like, two hours and just try to get it out, and it just doesn't happen. Double KO. <laughs> Look, I found somebody who's is equally <laughs> not as fantastic in this game as I am. Um... Yeah, so like a, a lot of um, a lot of these games, that I'm you know not great at. Um, I like Tekken because like in Tekken, I've played it enough where I can kind of see how combos work. Like I can see that there are moves that moves that you use to catch the opponent unaware. There are moves that extend the combo, like add damage to the combo. There are moves that bounce a person off the ground pick a person up, uh, launch a person, you know, like, I, I, I get what all the different moves do, like, that big extensive Tekken move list, like, I understand, and I know how it works, so I can kind of do some stuff in Tekken, uh, but other fighting games, like, I just, I'm like, alright, well, what's the timing, like, I don't understand why the timing is this way, like, I don't know how to properly do cross-ups, spacing, like, even though, like, I kind of know how to get punches and kicks in, um, I don't always know the proper spacing for moves, like, it's just hard for me to pick up on that. I think part of it is not consistently having people to play with. Uh, due to online gaming and some of my friends enjoying these games, um, I've been playing more, and I find that I, you know, like, the best part of playing a fighting game is when you're playing somebody who's about your level, uh, which is another thing we'll talk about with Guilty Gear Strive, how it does that. Ooh, ooh excuse me. Um, so, not having people who play as much as I do, or want to play more than I do, like, in my life, I think that's kind of kept me uh, from playing these games more, more than anything. Right, because if if I had a rivalry with somebody, or one or two people, um, then I would be like, oh, I want to get better, so I can win more. Or if the person was better than me, beat them, right? Uh, and that would push me to get better and better at them. Um, but since I don't have that, like the online, like I don't really get that feeling of like, like it's it's. I like the challenge of playing online. I'm playing around online right now. Um, but it's way more fun when you're versing your friend. When it's you and your friend uh, playing this game for fun, you can see them get annoyed, or you can see them like yell out when they beat you, or you know, like it, there's a lot of like back and forth, a lot of uh, a lot more fun to be had when it's in person and you can see each other and, and you know. Look at this, look at this terrible, just fucking raw super that just came out. I deserve to die. Am I going to? No, because this person didn't... I'm going to say she because it's, it's Ryan Lothal. It's probably a guy. Uh, she didn't capitalize on the hit that she got. She's got, she's got the same problems I do. And I don't... Uh, I understand. Oh, and here's... This is actually the rating system. So I wanted a bunch of games in a row. So the game is going to move me up on this tower and I can no longer fight people below me now if I if I'm a beginner I can go basically to the top of the tower and I think the game freezes here or something like that I think that's actually what happens does it no no it actually worked a lot of times the game freezes on that point uh, so I if you're a newbie you can go straight to the top of the tower and challenge the fucking fighting game gods you can do that right away uh, but if you're ranked high, you can't go lower. So lower people have a chance to kind of play against people who are on that level and build themselves up. Which is kind of good. I like that a lot. I don't like the um, finding a game in this game is terrible. Even trying to play against your friends is fucking awful in this game. I don't know why Arc System... Wow. I'm like watching myself play and I'm like, oh, I actually, I got, I got some moves together. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, look at, look at, look at Kai kicking my butt. Yeah, I regret. So this game had a pre-order thing where, or a uh, special edition where you pay $100 and you get all these cool, like, 
costumes, and I was like, Fuck, I don't want to pay another extra fifty dollars for costumes for all the characters. But I like the game so much, and I wanted it to succeed. Oh, this is. Am I gonna catch him? No. Yeah, it was too far away. Um. I didn't get it. I actually regret it because I, I I like the game. I like the game a lot. Look at that hit. That hit felt so good. It's just a normal special move, like a just a simple special move, but it feels good. See, like that feels good. I kind of see like that. Like I I got that hit. It was a counter hit. That should have led to big damage. I just did one special move afterwards because I don't know how to like capitalize upon that. I totally lost track of what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> I was talking about like four other things before this. Um, so yeah, so Guilty Gear Strive is a fucking amazing game. Looks beautiful. The effects and everything are really, really nice. Um, feels good to hit people. Yeah, yeah. The damage is a lot of fun because it feels like the matches are going like kind of quick. Like it feels like every hit you take is is an important hit. And every hit you get is an. Oh, am I gonna get him? I think I'm gonna get him this time. Right through that, grab him, boom. Look at that, look at that explosion. All right, so let's uh, let's trash this game a little bit. So, <laughs> watching Soul go, uh, what do you call? Watching Soul Dragon install and smash Kai into the ground uh, reminds me of some of the things I don't like about this game. So they dumbed this game down a lot. Uh, they removed a lot of systems and stuff for this game to make it more accessible to new players, which I totally get. Uh, I There's some things I really miss. Um, I really miss the instant kills. Guilty Gear was a series where you can instantly kill your enemy. Uh, and what you would do is you would give up your special bar and go do an all-out attack against your opponent. And if you hit them, you would just win. You would win both matches. You would like destroy them, like kill them and um, you would win that match. But it was like an all or nothing move uh, that would usually be very flashy and kind of cool and um, I might actually make a video taking a look at them uh, in the future. Uh, but they're not in this game and that is a shame. Now the special attacks in this game or the, the, the overcharge or overdrives, whatever they're called, uh, they're very flashy. They do a lot of damage, so they they do feel good. But they are those instant kills. I miss them. I miss them a lot. Second thing is I love Soul, and um, Soul loses his dragon install. And one of the greatest things about playing Soul in the previous Guilty Gear games were dragon installing and then just going fucking ape shit, being able to do so much more damage and it, like it powers up all his moves in such a meaningful, meaningful way. Like, there are other games that have um, power-up supers. Um, like, Jury Han has the Feng Shui engine. Um, I'm trying to think of more examples. Uh, Kai in this game has Dragon Install. Um... In some Dragon Ball Z games, like you can go Super Saiyan to get power boosts or whatever. <laughs> Street Fighter has a lot of like install supers, blah 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 blah. Dragon install from the previous games in Guilty Gear was the best install or power up super in any game ever because it drastically changed most, if not all, of Saul's special and um and overdrive moves um, and made them more impactful and just better uh, and to just remove that completely is I don't know it, it's, it's just really disappointing they gave Saul this really cool like throw super that I, I keep whiffing in this match um, which is cool it, it's got armor it goes through a lot of stuff um, like it looks cool but it's nothing compared to the fun of being able to drag it install. And, uh, yeah, that's a shame. But other than that, like, you know, this game feels great, plays great. Um, it's a fun game to play when you're playing with somebody who's about your level. It, it goes to lengths to make sure 
that you play against people your level. And I, I don't know, it's, just, it's a beautiful, great game. And uh, they keep releasing new characters, and it's just really good. My favorite fighting game, definitely, in a, in a long time. Uh, even with all the, the stuff that I feel it's missing. There's nothing quite as satisfying as going right under Kai's stupid electric bullshit and smashing him in the face <laughs> with a ground viper. Uh, I think he's gonna win. I think he's gonna win. This is this. He's gonna jump this. I yeah. Wow. This is a bad match. I'm doing so bad in this match. I whiffed so many of that fucking super. Deserve to lose. I gotta say, watching these matches, I am better than I was. Even now, having not played in a while. Like, I wouldn't be making that mistake. But, um, back in the early days, man. <laughs> Look at my face. My face on the floor. Um. Yeah, so this is the lobby screen. And this is where you actually look for fights against opponents. And a lot of times, um, what I'll do is I'll look for people who I'm not. Look at the guy crawling across the floor. <laughs> by his face. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll look for people who are playing characters that I'm not good at playing against just because a lot of people don't play them. And I think that actually keeps me from going higher in the lobby because I'm just like I'll find somebody who just kicks my fucking ass and I'll just keep challenging them over and over again and I'll get knocked down to like lower levels and I'll like be like no and I'll try I'll go back to the upper level and try to fight them again. Like just trying to learn. Um so yeah, I'll probably not see the top of this tower. Although maybe I'll make a maybe I'll make a video one day where I try to climb the tower, like meaningfully and, and practice and stuff like that. But um, uh, it's a lot of fun. The, lo the lobby system, uh, you know, as much as I like being able to choose, like like if I, uh, I wish there was a mode where you can just get into fights, right? But also. What's nice about the lobby is you get to choose your opponent. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are just picking characters that they have an advantage over or whatever. Uh, but like I said, I enjoy like being able to say, like, oh, I haven't fought many... I don't know. What's a character that you don't fight? Like, many Zatos, right? I see a Zato, I'm like, oh, cool, I can practice against Zato. Uh, and, you know, more often than not, you kind of... At least at my level, you... you beat the crap out of Zato. But at the higher levels, <laughs> like, you see somebody playing him and you, like, back away. You're like, no. <laughs> I know that's a monster. Uh. Or if you're, if you're like me, you fucking jump in. Because you're like, oh, this guy knows what he's doing. Like, what, what am I gonna do? How do I beat him? It's like, one thing that's fun about online, like, game, uh, or fighting games online is when you find somebody really good. And then you just like you treat it like a boss fight in another video game. You just keep trying to beat them. <laughs> and you get that one victory, and you're like, "All right, I got it. <laughs> like, I kind of learned." What's fun against putting um, other people too is you can kind of condition them, uh, which I'm not good enough at this game to do that. But like, well, at least. At least not in all cases, but I, I have I, I have absolutely done it. Is like you can keep doing, like you can do a sequence of moves. Like say every time you jump, like you do a kick after you jump or while you jump, right? So then the person that you're playing against treats it like, all right, every time he jumps, he's gonna do this move, right? Oh, do I catch him here? Do I catch him? No, I don't think I do. Yeah, see, I, I think this is me trying to figure out when I can catch this dude with my special. I think this is before I actually had that knowledge. And I'm just like trying to figure out like, all right, when do I throw the special out? Like, when can I grab him? Um, which is kind of cool, right? It's kind of cool learning a fighting game like this. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so you can kind of condition the person that you're playing against to always think you're doing this specific move when you're playing. So then what you do is you stop doing it. And then they're like conditioned to act a certain way and then you can capitalize on their, like, their fuck-up, you know? Um, that's one thing that's great about fighting games. It's probably one thing that's great about actual fighting. Uh, if I, you know, competitive 
fighting or maybe any, any competitive sport that's like a physical uh, kind of challenge. Uh, it's just like conditioning your opponent and then being like, ah, see, I fooled you. Fool you. Am I actually, I wonder if I'm going to win against this guy. This is uh, the second, so the first round, this first, yeah. First set of three, this guy won. Yeah, this is me trying to be like, oh, yeah, see, when he's in the air. When he's in the air, you can throw it out there and catch him. See, see, I'm learning. You're watching me learn. Live. <laughs> like, all right. Now I'm actually invested in this <laughs> because this happened, this is like a year ago, this match. Uh, so I'm actually kind of invested in whether or not I won. I actually, um, I edited or I put this video together like I put all the matches in this video together also like a year ago and I'm just coming back to it now um, to, to dub over the voice because I wasn't sure how I was gonna do this and after some time went by I wasn't sure if I was going to do this at all so now I'm like watching the match and I'm like ooh like do I win? Is this Because I, I didn't want to just put matches that I won because that's fucking not rep representative of my you know, experience online uh, at all. <laughs> I will lose most of the time. So I wanted to have like my wins and also, oh, is he in the air? Am I going to catch him? He was in the air, but he, had, he it was the wrong timing. So, wait, call. He was, he jumped, but he could still dash. And I should have waited uh, to see if he was going to dash or not. And then done it. I could have. I could have even done it in the other direction. Like he dashes behind me, I could have done it in the other direction. And, and caught him. I think that's actually what my goal, maybe with this match, was: is to figure out like how I use this special. Like not just beat this guy, but like also figure out how I use this special and how I can uh, catch him. I'm also trying to figure out how. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh no, I did the wrong one. Ah, uh, past Vin. What are you thinking? Also, when you're playing any online game, it's, it's, uh, or when you're playing a game online. All right, let's start that over. So when I play fighting games, if I'm playing against my friends, it doesn't matter if they're better than me. I am oodles calmer than if I'm playing against an online person. Let's see if I catch him this time. Yeah, I did. I caught him. <laughs> and that was the victory, right? That's the... Uh, yeah, that was the third round. So he's got one and I got one. I don't know if I show the next round. I might have, like, moved or something. Oh, no, here we go. Let's see. Do I have his number at this point? I might have his number at this point. Usually... So usually with fighting games, I like, I don't have, like, a game plan. Uh, I just kind of jump in, but what I am good at is I am good at learning the person I fight against and figuring them out, like a boss fight. And when I do that, I usually do pretty well. I don't know if that is what has happened with this gentleman that I'm playing against. I can see that like a lot of his moves I don't have answers for yet. I'm actually just getting kind of drawn like, oh, what am I going to do? <laughs> now he's in the air, and I know that this move can t hit him in the air, but he didn't attack. He blocked. Oh! The dragon punch. Yeah, see, like, I got that dragon punch. Ah, uh, this is a raw super. He's going to jump right over this. Yeah, that was bad. That was a bad move. I I had performed poorly. Oh, but what I was saying before is um, online games. Uh, so when you're playing with your, my, yeah, when I'm playing with my friends, um, like I'm having fun and I don't get too stressed usually. Uh, there's there have been some moments that are there where that's not true. Uh, I was playing a Rocky game once with my friend uh, A Rod from from high school and. Uh, I got I got quite miffed because he could, you know, it was his game and he was kicking the crap out of me. But in my mind, I was like, no, video games are what I'm good at. It's the only thing I have to beat everybody in every game, even if it's something I don't own. Uh, and I got so pissed off at him. 
that I actually physically struck him <laughs> uh, multiple times, uh, which is how we communicated as children. Oh, I lose. I lost this round. That was a, that was a three-round loss that I posted up here. Didn't learn. See that? I didn't learn from my mistakes. And then I got the loss. That is what I earned by not learning. Uh, so anyway, we played this Rocky game, and I couldn't beat him. He was playing Apollo Creed. I was playing Rocky. And he was whooping me. Whooping me up and down and left and right in this game, in this Rocky game. And I got so upset. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was such a kid thing to be pissed off at this for this reason. But uh, it was also really funny. But the, the funny conclusion to that is what I did is I stopped playing Rocky and I just picked, I don't know what made me do it. But I picked this, like, fucking fat nothing character just from that game. And I started just beating the crap out of my friend. I mean, I lost, like, maybe 40 times. But after I switched characters, I started just winning. And it was, like, this chunky, tubby guy, boxer, who's not in the movies. Like, he's maybe mentioned, but never shown. And, um... And, uh, I won. And he had, like, this really stupid, like, special punch and everything like that. Um, and he was just, like, not a cool character at all. And my, and then the reverse happened where my friend, uh, A-Rod, he was, like, losing his mind. Because <laughs> I was, like, I kept beating him with, like, this jackass character. <laughs> oh, God. That was funny. Uh, back then, I put so much stock in my, like, my... It's like playing video games was, like, the one thing that I could do well. So whenever that was, like, taken away from me, I would get so upset as a kid. And I remember one time we were playing Mario Kart with me and, like, my, my cousins and my one of my best friends. And I, I lost a bunch of games and I was getting trash-talked by, I think, my friend. But like trash talking him back wasn't working, so I, I started trash talking my cousin instead. It was so fucking crazy. But uh, yeah, I was so, like, I was so fra like, my self worth was so fragilely tied to like my ability to be better at my friends at video games that I would get so upset if I wasn't that way. Um. Which now, of course, I'm not like that anymore because I am terrible at video games because I don't get to play them anymore because I'm a working person now. <laughs> also, all my friends don't play video games, I don't think, as much. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I love where they've gone. Like, they're such a cool, um, such a cool meet. Look, look at me, I'm like, I'm trying, like, I have, I'm a fat guy in a chair. I can't jump. 10 feet in the air and then dash forward and do a fucking sword slice on another person, but in the fucking game, like, look at that. Look at that, I could jump, I could punch him 15 feet in the air and a volcano comes out, <laughs> like, it's so cool, like, I love this stuff. Uh, if we ever, oh, I think I, do I catch him? Do I catch him? Oh no, I went the wrong way! I think I might have actually intended to catch him on the other side, but it's just the move came out facing the wrong way. That might be possible. No, oh, he beat me. I was beaten soundly by another Kai. This is a different Kai that I was that I was fighting before. Then, then the one I was fighting before. Bye. All right, I'm out of things to talk about now. What do I do? <laughs> what do, I do? do I commentate? I, yeah, I don't even know how to commentate a fighting game, right? Because I don't even know, like, what everything is. So I'm like, okay, so Kai's trying to keep me keep me back. I'm trying to get in. I use my bandit revolver to get in. Now he's, now I got him in the corner. Now, oh, oh, I can't break the wall because I'm not good at doing combos to break the wall. He's pushing me back. He's getting his space. Oh, there we go. I got two hits in. Now he's backing up against the wall. And I very foolishly don't use my special and don't use my ground viper thing to get onto that and hit him. There we go. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta jab him in the knee. Sometimes you don't get the big cool finish. 
Sometimes you gotta just punch them in the leg. <laughs> For the weak flaccid bitch. That's, alright, so that's one of my, um... Alright, so let's talk about more of my weaknesses in fighting games. Weakness number one is, uh... Can't capitalize on damage. Weakness number two, I'm too offensive. I am not good at defense in fighting games. It's like, what you have to do to be defensive... Like, is usually too complicated for my fucking brain. Like, it's just like, I'm just like, hold back and block, and that's it. Like, I, I, I'm not good at breaking throws or guessing when throws are going to come out. I'm not good at, like, blocking high or low. Um, I'm not good at a lot of, like, a, defense I'm not good at. So what I usually try to do is try to overwhelm them with it, uh, with offense. And just try to be like unpredictable, um, and just tr try to get my spacing right, as you know, as well as I can. That's that's basically what I what I can do and where I can get with these with these kinds of things. Um, so that's another weakness is I have no defense. Oh, I, ca I caught him here! Boom, bang! Like even that special, although it's not. It's not great, like it's not awesome, but the the two hits that it is feel powerful. It's like uppercut, and then the straight. I think he's in, is he attacking? Yeah, I caught him. I caught him there. Took that round. Took that round with a well placed raw super, which I think that super can only be raw. I think that's I think that's the downside of that super. If I'm if I'm remembering correctly, uh, so yeah, so that's another um, weakness is I'm too offensive and I'm not good at defense. Uh, third weakness is I will always, and not so much when I'm playing online, I think, but a lot of times I want the big flashy, cool finish. Like I fucking I want it. Like <laughs> like I want the throw. That just looks cool in Tekken. I want the the um, the big super to hit. I want the uh, the flashy special KO finish. Like I want it bad. So I'll fucking throw raw supers out there. I'll stop throwing punches that would win the game. Like I will I will go to extremes to try to get that fucking cool finishing like like a movie you know finishing move in there and i will lose match after match just like <laughs> like being out ahead trying to get the cool finish can't get it lose the match <laughs> like, like that's so much uh i think it happens against my friends more than anything <laughs> I think when I talk too much, it makes me yawn. Like, I'm not tired. And I'm not bored. I just... Like, when I sit down to do these, these talks, like... I yawn? I, I don't know if I'm not pacing myself correctly or whatever. I don't know. I don't get it. But it always happens when I'm doing your car, uh, car talks. And it sucks, because it, it makes it seem like I'm, I don't care about what I'm talking I care. But, uh... Know, it's just a weird, weird observation I have. So I think it's 1-1 one, one at this point, right? This is like the last match to see who's the winner of this set. Let's see, let's see if I've learned anything. He's trying to get in. He's got me in the corner. I'm trying to get out of the corner. Yeah, I'm just not gonna... Oh, there we go. I got the DP. Now he's on the defense. I run up and I do a raw super and it beats him. So I think that was actually... A case of conditioning. I think I conditioned him to think I was going to do something else there. I don't know what, because I was like talking about other stuff. But I that's a weird run up to his face, do a raw super, and it hits situation. But hey, you know, you take, you take fucking... You take them when you can get them. Is he going to rematch me? Is that what it is? Yeah, more rematching. 
more rematching. I gotta upload some more. I didn't realize how much of this is Soul versus Kai. <laughs> uh, I gotta get back online and record more of this game. Uh, maybe I'll get to do that over the weekend. Alright, so let's see how I do against Orange Jumpsuit. Criminal Escapee Kai. Alright, so I'm getting my face pounded in because this man knows how to... This man is on the offense and he's throwing up, up, up jumping and flipping and dipping and all over all over the place, throwing moves out there. And I'm just like, ah, how do I... Whoa! <laughs> Oh, I think I actually kept getting interrupted and haven't spoken about this, but fighting online in an online like fighting game, fucking, it is intense. Ooh, excuse me. That I will fucking sweat and <laughs> like my mouth will go dry. I will drink like two liters of water, fucking playing an hour of a fighting game online, just because of the like intensity of it. I get so nervous, I so want to do a good job, and I so know that I don't really have the, the capability. Look at that. Look at that Look at that combo that was handed to me, and I just fucking dropped it on the floor. Um, yeah, so I, I, I just fucking get so nervous when I'm playing online. Fucking lose my shit. I mean, I like it. You know, it's like an adrenaline rush, but... It's an actual adrenaline rush. I think... Yeah! So I... That was me conditioning him to think that I was going to do the other super. Well, that was me guessing that he was going to think that I was going to do the other super. Um, because so many souls just kind of throw it out there. And I'm, I'm starting to catch that people... At, like, in this point, a year ago, I try... Like, I'm starting to catch that when, pe when soul does a raw super... People think it's the fucking grab one, and they jump in the air. Um, so that was me realizing that and being like, nope, it's not the grab. Oh, and I caught him. Look at, I'm so proud of past me. I caught him at it. I did an air grab. Like, I don't think I do that, like, consistently now. <laughs> oh, that was, that was a good read, too. Kicked him right in the face. Good job, past me. Good job. This is kind of fun, but I still don't really know. <laughs> like, I'm enjoying myself watching these, but I don't really know how to make this entertaining. <laughs> uh, if only I had another commentator. You yeah, see, like, I don't have a game plan for this dude. Like, I, like, I kind of, in my head, know some of the things he's doing and I'm like responding to them and I have answers for some of his stuff but I don't have a like a, a plan to get in I don't have a, like an approach plan I don't have a um, like a all right this is what I'm gonna do like I'm gonna get in I'm gonna do these series of moves to do damage I'm gonna use this move to get in and then I'm gonna do this series of moves to get damage like I don't have that in my head uh, not in this game, anyway. Like, I'm just on the spot, throwing stuff out there, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. Noticing, like, some stuff that my opponent is doing and trying to, like, respond to it. Yeah, okay. I got two hits for that time from the, from the, the counter hit. Oh, am I gonna go down? Oh, get him off me. Oh, he's doing a move. I think I got him. Oh, no! Oh. The Roman canceled. The Roman canceled, and it put the shockwave pushed me back. Just enough for him to jump over my, uh, my super. Interesting. That, you know what? That's another thing, too, about fighting games. When you're trying to get good at them, play like... Like, if you're like me and you're, you're not set yet, you don't really know what you're doing, 
play 10 games. Whether you win or lose, stop after those 10 games, go back and watch a few. Um, definitely watch the ones you lose. And and look and see like, alright, well, what am I, what, what is bad here? That's definitely something you gotta do. And you learn shit too, like, like I, I don't know if I would remember that you could fucking do a move, Roman cancel, and then jump and get away from souls, uh, grab. Okay, so we got the hit. Uh, he didn't super capitalize off of it. Now he's doing something, so I do this. Nope, it's not enough. I think a lot I think another one of my weaknesses is this in this game in particular is I'm trying to save my special bar for the big moves and I'm not using it for Roman cancels and stuff like that. So I'm like sitting on special a little bit too much, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's good to sit on it, because then they think they think those fucking those specials are gonna be coming out. But they're not coming out. Something different is. This is me just throwing stuff out in the corner. Yeah. Okay. Good catch. Will I win? This is it. This is the final game. And I goofed up and threw myself into the corner. He's kicking my butt. That was that's me freaking out, and then just then I got my composure back. Do the same move, fucking end up in the corner. <laughs> okay. Oh no! Okay, break that. Come on, then. What are we gonna do? We're gonna win. We're gonna lose. Oh, right, we're gonna get a phone call. No. Oh, this is an intense match. Do I win this match? No, I don't. <laughs> I got excited for a second. I was like, oh, past me. Do you pull this out of your ass? Because it was going on so long with me on such low health. I was like, wait a second. Is this one of the ones I win? No. No, it isn't. I hope uh, I don't. There's one more match coming up or one more series of matches against another character coming up. I hope it's not Kai. I hope it's like May or something like that because that character drives me insane um but it's fun when she's defeated so let's see let's see which character that is unless it's this unless it's axel yeah i think this was like the first day of this game being out look at this look at this terrible system look at this awful system of you gotta walk a stupid avatar over to a fucking book and you gotta try to get into a match and sometimes all the books are taken and then you go fishing look at this stupid shit all the arc system works fucking games do this shit oh what did i fish ah oh, look i got a fish isn't that awesome oh delicious cod I don't even remember leaving this <laughs> in here. Cool. Wins. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so this is after I won. This must be like a, a last... Uh... No, stop making noise. Oh, this is Axel! Oh, I think this is... Um, I think this is the opening... The opening match. So Axel's a fucking annoying character to play against. He's got this keep away game that's ridiculous. Look at this. Look at this. All he's got to do is back up and then just swing these stupid things around. <laughs> and I'm like, alright, I gotta be... In order for me to hurt him, I gotta be in his face. 
Oh, do I catch him with this? Yeah, no, this is the early matches. This is definitely early. Because I do not know what I'm doing. Oof. Oof, Axel matches. Yeah, this is before I have much of a game plan on trying to get in. There you go. There you go. So I can see that. Oh, so he pushes me back. He uses a special to push me even further back. What I should have done is after the first hit of the special, is I jump and then land on his fucking head. <laughs> but. That is not what I do because don't know that that's a, that's the <laughs> the plan at this point. There we go. Go a little bit low. No, that was terrible, Ben. Then what we? Oh my God! I was so sure I was dead there. This man is also terrible. Maybe he just didn't expect it. Maybe I was the first soul he ever played against. That was terrible. On, bo on both of our accounts. <laughs> it's weird that I won that. Bouncing him off the wall. Not breaking it because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Still don't really know how to do that consistently. I learned one combo to break the walls. Can't consistently do it in a match. <laughs> oh, and then I'm gonna just catch him again. Woo! Boom! So that feels good. All right, well that's that's Guilty Gear. I love this game. I'll probably be showing it more. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. The smell of the game.